George Shaw Milligan rolling out. That's a good question. Hey, Rashad. The experience. You're an Olympian. You spent time in Paris. You talked about the muffins. What was the best part? <laughs> muffins were great. Um, but I think just being able to experience uh, the villages are really fun. Uh, we were in Lille for the first three. It was a lot smaller than Paris, but um, just being able to be around other amazing athletes was really awesome. You know, saw some saw some really, really awesome people. Um, and also getting to know my team. You know, I've, I've been pretty new to the Spanish national team. I, I joined with them. My first time was last November. Um, so it's been less than a year. So just getting to know them, getting to know the team and the system, and obviously, you know, also playing in the games was incredible. I think our first game, there was 27,000 people in attendance. So and I gave Michelle a show, overtime game, which was fun. Um, but yeah, I'm just really, really grateful. There was so much like an outpouring of like fan respect for your performance in Spain because you were kind of falling out. Did you get to see some of that reaction? You kind of what did it mean to you to see the fans at home reacting to your performance? Yeah, you know, I have a lot of support back home. Um, you know, my family was able to come too, so that was really fun. Um, and just to be able to see a lot of Spanish flags in the in the stands was really cool. They're not that far from France, so um, just to see that outpouring of support was really special, and also. Um, just to see the support around um, wherever it is in social media. You know, I don't really speak that great Spanish, uh, great of Spanish. So some of the comments I couldn't translate, but um, I felt the overwhelming love and support for sure. You went to Iowa, is that correct? Yes. What was that trip like and what kind of motivated you to get out there? Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, just being able to, to get back where my people are and just to visit and um, take a break, you know, obviously, um, you know, there's so many special memories there growing up. And, um, you know, I wanted to, wanted to play division one basketball and to be able to find a great place like the university of Iowa is really special to me. And obviously to see where they've grown now and um, being able to be a teammates with Kate has been really awesome and really a full circle moment for me. To kind of get away from the games, do you have a chance or the, the basketball game, yeah. do you have a chance to experience the Olympics much in Paris or? Yeah, here and there. Um, I spent most of my time with my family whenever I could. I had my, um, my mom, my dad, my aunt, my sister, my brother-in-law, and my niece all there um, supporting me. And so when I, whenever I was with them, I was, um, you know, just enjoying my time. And, um, you know, I tried to try to get, I didn't get to any events, actually. Um, I tried to get to one, but I actually couldn't get a ticket. So um, it was, it, it's just really cool just to hear about all the support that the fans went to every single game, um, whatever sport it was. So I did watch a lot on TV. I watched a lot with my, um, you know, teammates in the village, but um, just a really great experience for sure. Let's jump to Zoom really quick. I am um, Andrew, writing for the Des Moines Register. I know you had a couple questions. Yeah. Hey, Megan. Uh, so the the first one um, is this the longest you've been without pancake, and and what was <laughs> pancake doing throughout the entirety of this Olympics? Yeah, that's some of the, some of the most important questions I've gotten. Actually, um, it is not the most. Um, I've been away from her actually. Um, when it was my second year in the league, um, we were in the the bubble bubble season and that was about three months long so that was the longest I've been away um, and then in Poland after Christmas I was away from her for two months so this is the third longest I've been away from her um, you know I missed her so much but I had a peace of mind because we have a really great sitter here all of my teammates and my coach use her as well um, so just just thankful that um, you know she was well taken care of and had quite the reunion yesterday. <laughs> Did you get any pictures of uh, of of them watching you all, of all you guys like on TV? Yeah, you know, I get, we really get a lot of updates with pictures and videos, um, you know, just about every other day and they love each other. They're all just best friends. And so I was actually kind of sad to take her away. I was like, man, she's going to be sad to be with me. I mean, not really, but a little bit, um, but just really thankful that she had a great time too. Thanks. And then we'll go to Owen and close it out with Christos and then the Chelsea's on deck. Hey, good to see you, Megan. Um, we saw the video of uh, you going in, into Jan's office and seeing her again and just how emotional she was seeing you. Just uh, w what was that like being able to see her? I know you've seen her this season when she's been out in right. Vegas to, to watch some of the games, but why was that moment so emotional for her or you? Or what were some of the things you did together while you were in Iowa City? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of a last, last minute thing. Actually, the whole trip to Iowa was, uh, I was thinking about it. Um, um, but kind of just didn't know how long we'd be in Paris and all that stuff, how fast I'd be able to get out. 
Um, it kind of just came to me, you know, the day before I was like, I'm just going to surprise her. Um, so I talked to a couple of the coaches and, um, you know, they, they had this really good idea to bring her coffee from her favorite coffee spot. And it's so funny. So we went to the coffee place and, um, you know, coach Raina, Raina Harmon, she asks them, she said, do you know Jan Jensen's order? And they're like, oh yeah. So she's pretty very well known there, um, but just really excited. I was just giving her a couple of text message updates, um, you know, throughout and just saying, thank you so much for the support, but she had no idea I was coming. <laughs> All right, Christos, last question, please. Hello, Megan, hope you're doing well. Congratulations on your Olympics participation, first of all. Thank you. Uh, the next uh, Olympics are in 2028 in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Do you feel ready for the next, uh, for your next Olympic experience? Well, that's four years from now. So, um, you know, you never know. I mean, I, I would love to, um, you know, I'm only 27 now, so I, I don't see why not, but it's also four years in advance. You never know what's going to be happening. And um, I'm going to try my best though. I'm going to try my best to be ready. And also after your season in Greece with Olympiacos, Chris, we have, we have to out. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Rashad Milligan rolling out. That's a good question. Uh, Brandon, yeah, we can't, 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 we